what's up i'm troubleshoot a lot of people have had issues starting battlefield 6 for some people it crashes on launch doesn't launch at all you get a black screen on startup stuff like that in this video i'll show you some proven to work fixes that may sound a bit odd but they do actually work so let's get straight into it starting off at the very top if you have an nvidia graphics card that's in the 40 or 50 series stick around for this first tip otherwise you can skip ahead to this time on screen if you've got an rtx 40 or 50 series card hit start and type in nvidia then open the nvidia app inside of the nvidia app head across to graphics on the left hand side locate battlefield 6 select it and inside of here you'll see a bunch of in-game options scrolling down the next section down here is driver settings what you want to do is locate smooth motion make sure to turn this off simply click the drop down and choose off instead of use global on or whatever other options you have as i have a 30 series card this feature isn't present and isn't the cause of my problem next up another weird thing hit start type in settings and open up the windows settings app inside of here head across to system on the left hand side and then scroll down here to find storage select this scroll down further under advanced storage settings you should see storage spaces select this and then if you see anything inside of pools here simply just delete them now this feature may be a bit weird essentially this tool allows you to combine multiple drives into one virtual drive if you've had this on the whole time and your storage pool is full with a bunch of things you might not be able to delete it straight up you might need to go into it export files things like that i'm not entirely too sure but for most people if you're just playing games downloading them etc if a storage pool exists you can probably delete it just fine and things should be okay i don't think you'll need to re-download the game but do let me know down below if i'm wrong with this either ways clearing out any extra storage spaces you have has fixed this issue for a ton of people and it's one of the most odd fixes to an issue like this that i've ever heard obviously at this point if you haven't already make sure all of your drivers are up to date hit start open up windows update and let it run through to completion then do the same for your graphics card you'll need to go to nvidia amd or intel's website you'll find links down below and download and install the latest version of your graphics driver if you've got something like the nvidia app you can open that up and download the latest driver version from there as well the next thing we can try is clearing the game's settings simply hit start or the windows key and press e to open up a new windows explorer head across to your documents on the left hand side and locate battlefield 6 open this settings and then you'll see different platforms in my case steam inside of here is where your settings files are located just simply rename steam or whatever it is to steam one or something like that or even move it out of this folder the next time you launch up the game it should start with fresh settings the reason we're renaming it and not just deleting it is if you want to go back to it and things might work you can always rename it and get back to where you were then another problem which some people have been facing is that it's trying to launch in the wrong gpu this only really affects those with igpus more specifically laptops if i had start type in graphics and open up graphics settings which is your settings program system display graphics inside of you at the very bottom down here we'll select add a desktop app choose this and then navigate to where your game is installed if it's in steam you can right click it hover over manage and choose browse local files then you can right click at the very top copy address and paste it into here hit enter and now we can select bf6 then scroll down to battlefield 6 expand it and then instead of a gpu preference let windows decide change it to your high performance dedicated graphics card be it amd intel or nvidia then you can do the same add a desktop app and just to make doubly sure we'll select the ea anti-cheat exe as well add it find it on the list this one should be listed as ea javelin and we'll change this to our high performance gpu as well i have seen some people open up the device manager and disable their integrated graphics but this should be a much simpler solution once you've done that we can quit out of this just keep in mind if you're having issues with the single player it's inside of the sp folder and we'll also need to add bf6.exe here into the same place and change the same options next the most simple obvious solution is to verify your game files right click battlefield 6 select properties and on the installed files tab you can verify integrity of game files right here if you're like me and in your downloads page battlefield 6 is listed as game not released you'll need to completely uninstall the game and reinstall it right click hover over manage choose uninstall and then re-download it 
it's a lot, but that did actually fix it for me when I was able to launch it, but I was getting an error in the middle of a startup. You can also right click in Battlefield 6, choose properties, and on the DLC tab here, you can try disabling everything if you wish to see if it'll launch up properly, or you can disable everything but multiplayer or single player, for example, and try one of those two. For the most part, the multiplayer HD textures, single player shared HD textures, at the very top, Battlefield 6 HD textures could be causing some issues with your system if it's trying to load too much on the startup, etc. That could help fix things as well. On low-end systems, you can remove these anyways if you're not going to be cranking your settings and you can save quite a bit of disk space. And at this point, everything should hopefully be working properly. For most people, your issue should be solved with the first two steps. The rest of these were here just in case. But yeah, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.